Hi guys, I know it's been a really long time since I've put up a video. October has been extremely, extremely busy and I apologize for that, but I've set aside some time to film. So this video is going to be about my September product empties. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first makeup item that I finished and the only makeup item that I finished is the Milani iTech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner. This is a felt tip liquid eyeliner and it's really easy to use especially if you are not comfortable with using a liquid eyeliner. It has this a flexible felt tip applicator at the top here and it's just it really just kind of glides across your eyelids. It doesn't smear or smudge once it sets onto your eyes so I already have repurchased this. I'm using a new one right now and I absolutely love it. The next product here is the Soft Lips Peach Mango Lip Protectant and this has SPF in it. This only comes out around the summertime because it has that, you know, that peach mango fruity smell and I purchased this when it came in a two pack with the vanilla chapstick and I absolutely love this. I always try to find it every start of the summer and this is just awesome. Soft Lips is one of the few chapsticks that I can finish within like a season. So for skincare, one of the products that I finished up is the Clinique Anti-Blemish Solutions Clarifying Lotion and it's really just a toner. That's what clarifying lotion means in Clinique terms. But this has like the little powder down at the bottom and when you shake it up and you put it onto a cotton pad and you apply it all over your skin, it helps to mattify your face, absorb all the oil on there. And it, although it is a great product, I probably will not repurchase it just because I've found other toners that are a fraction of this cost. This was $19.50. Now I got it at my CCO for $12, um, but even you know $12, it still is a little pricey for something that I use twice a day. Um, this I went through fairly quickly. But if you love Clinique products and it doesn't make you break out, you know, stick to something like this. This is part of the three-step anti-blemish solutions kit that they have. Um, you know, it comes with a face wash and then the toner and then the moisturizer. So to me, I found other products that work for me that are a bit cheaper, so I will not be repurchasing this. The next skincare product is the My Beauty Diary Black Pearl Mask, and I've talked about this before. These are sheet masks that come in a pack of 10 and I picked this up at my local Asian grocery store and these are just really nice to just you know on every Sunday evening just put it on and it just helps to relax and cool down your skin you can stick them in the fridge for about 20-30 minutes and it's just really nice during the summertime as well it's just you know it's very refreshing and cooling it's kind of like spraying the Evian water all over your face but this one um, is supposed to help brighten and whiten your skin not literally like dye it but it's helping to kind of, you know, clear up all the blemishes on your face. So I really do like the Black Pearl Mask Sheet Mask. The next one here is the Up and Up Baby Wipes, and this is the unscented kind. I mean, you guys know that I absolutely love this. I use this for anything and everything, not only just wiping off my makeup, but I take this to musical festivals musical festivals, music festivals with me and it's just, it's really nice. I mean the unscented kind is my favorite just because any kind of perfume or scented wipes just make my skin break out so I always stick to the unscented ones. And I also have the Up and Up Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes and these are comparable to the Pond's Clean Sweep. And this is the pack of 10 that I used to travel around. Um, by the time that I got to the end of this pack, they were completely dry. So I had to kind of soak them in water a little bit um, to kind of get that serum out of it. But I, I'm, I don't like these. I just I got these for really cheap because I had a coupon and they, I think they were like 10 cents each. Um, but I definitely will not be repurchasing these. Another product that I finished up are the... Costco cotton pads. Um, I guess these are Delon Plus cotton pads, but I got these in a pack of like eight or ten, I think. Um, I definitely will not be repurchasing these again because they just fell apart on me when I was using them. They have this like thin kind of, it's supposed to be like an exfoliating layer, but it ended up just falling apart, like kind of peeling apart from the actual cotton pad. So I don't recommend these. My cousin, she has them, but she really likes them, so I think it's just kind of from person to person their views on it but I didn't like them. I'm more of an Ulta, the cotton rounds that they have and the ones that Target has. Now on to the body slash hair care products. 
The first thing that I finished from that category is the Victoria's Secret Such a Flirt Star Fruit and White Orchid Body Wash. And I got this as a gift. Um, it was $10. And if I didn't get it as a gift, I probably would not purchase it myself just because I don't think that there's anything great about it or something that makes it so special. Um, one, I think it's kind of expensive for a body wash for the size that you get. It's 8.4 fluid ounces um, and even though you can get this on sale for you know seven to eight dollars, I don't think I would purchase it with my own money. I mean it just smelled like any kind of regular body wash. I would rather use the Dove or Olay body wash. So I mean this one was alright. It did smell good but it just wasn't that special to me. I also finished up the Women's Shave Gel by Up and Up and this is in the Strawberry Tangerine scent. This smells so so good. Like in the summertime your skin just smells so fruity um, and delicious. It just is amazing. And this is comparable to the Skin to Mint Strawberry Tangerine Twist and it is very moisturizing. It has vitamin E and olive butter in it. I will say though that toward the end the pump didn't really work too well and it kind of got a little messy there but I've already repurchased this I got it for under two dollars which is a steal it's really hard to find a shave gel for under two dollars but I highly recommend this if you like kind of like that fruity light scent um, they do have one in the up and up line that is for dry skin so if you need a more moisturizing one than this one they also do have one for dry skin and I'm sorry if you hear like a little fan sound it's this guy right here and it's just super super hot in my house right now um, so I just have the fan the ceiling fan going and this little portable fan right here going because it's just way too hot right now even though it's fall where I'm at but not really so let's move on to hair care I only have one product and it's the Aussie moist three minute miracle deep treatment and it's a deep conditioner that you put on for three minutes in your hair and when you wash it out it just leaves your hair silky smooth so soft no tangles in your hair it's an amazing deep conditioner uh, hello. It's an amazing deep conditioner that I got for under $3, which is an amazing deal. So if you are not looking to spend too much on a deep conditioner, I would recommend this one. I will probably repurchase it in the future once I finish a couple of other deep conditioners that I have. Now on to my random empties. This product here is the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser. And as you can tell, this product is quite old just because the new product of this one here, or the new version, is a lot smaller. When I purchased this, it was the 8.5 fluid ounce size and it was for $3, which I think is a great, great deal. Now it's like half the size or not even. So um, this works really well as just kind of like a spot treatment for your brushes. Um, I don't or I won't repurchase the new bottle just because it's a lot smaller for how much you're paying. Um, even though it is travel friendly but to me I just don't think that I would pay you know that much which is not really that much but for me I would rather spend it towards like a Sephora cleanser or like a MAC cleanser if that makes sense. Um, but I'm almost finished with this one. It does work well, so if you're looking to not spend too much and have like a smaller travel size bottle, I would recommend the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser. One nail product that I did finish up is the Sesh Vite Dry Fast Top Coat, and this has been a holy grail or cult favorite among the YouTube world. And a lot of people like this because it works really, really fast when drying your nails. And for me, I get really impatient after I dry my nails and I want to like touch things or pick up things. And this helps in preventing smears or smudges on your nails. And it also prevents from your nails from chipping the next day or two days later, which I absolutely hate. Like that's just, oh, it irritates me whenever I paint my nails. And then the very next day or even the same day, it ends up chipping. So this really helps to prevent all of that. Um, this one was, I believe, like nine or ten dollars at Ulta. You can also pick this up at your local Target as well. My last empty is the watermelon lemonade candle that I mentioned in my last video, maybe or maybe like three or four videos. Um, I think it was my July favorites. I think. And this is from Bath and Body Works. It absolutely is just the best candle ever. I love this. It's just the epitome of summer. Just very fruity, watermelon, light lemonade smell. I absolutely love this. I hope that they make this next year so that I can stock up on it. I just love this candle, as you can tell. It's just 
just an awesome, awesome candle. So that wraps up my September product empties. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!